You've probably heard about the incredible advances in aviation, but are you ready for a real revolution? Forget everything you know about traditional aircraft engines, because Rolls-Royce is about to unveil a new technological beast that could change the way we fly, the ultrafan engine. This isn't just another engine, it's a bold statement about the future, a testament to how far relentless innovation can take us. So, how good is this engine? Why is it poised to change aviation? Let's find out. The Ultrafan is no ordinary engine. It incorporates a host of advanced technologies that deliver exceptional performance. The biggest difference with the Ultrafan is the use of a gearbox. Unlike traditional engines, this gearbox allows the giant front fan and the internal turbines to operate at optimal speeds independently. This not only significantly improves fuel efficiency, but also contributes to noise reduction providing a smoother flying experience for passengers and reducing the impact on the residential community near the airport. The Ultrafan boasts a 140-inch diameter fan blade, the largest ever built for a jet engine. This size even surpasses the previous largest engine, the GE9X. This large fan diameter helps achieve an extremely high bypass ratio, meaning more air flows around the core of the engine, resulting in superior fuel efficiency and quieter operation. With a bypass ratio of more than 15 to 1, the ultrafan is among the highest in the industry. This ratio is key to fuel efficiency, as the majority of thrust is generated by the cool air flowing through the fan rather than by burning fuel in the engine core. To achieve optimal performance, the ultrafan uses cutting edge materials. Carbon composite fan blades with titanium leading edges this combination provides superior strength while significantly reducing weight, an important factor in aero engine design. The internal components of the engine use CMC, a material that can withstand much higher temperatures than traditional metal alloys. This improved heat resistance allows the engine to operate at higher temperatures, thereby increasing thermal efficiency and fuel efficiency. Additionally, Rolls-Royce has taken full advantage of 3D printing technology to manufacture the ultrafan components. This method not only reduces weight and increases durability, but also allows for complex, optimized designs that would be difficult to achieve with traditional manufacturing methods. During testing, the ultrafan gearbox delivered 64 megawatts of power, a record for a jet engine gearbox. This demonstrates the superior engineering capabilities and potential of Ultrafan to power the next generation of aircraft. One of the most notable advantages of Ultrafan is its superior fuel efficiency, up to 25% better than the previous generation Rolls-Royce Trent engine. This is more than just a small improvement, it represents a quantum leap in efficiency. Using less fuel means significantly lower operating costs for airlines, helping them optimize their profits and ease their financial burden. Improved fuel efficiency directly leads to a significant reduction in carbon dioxide emissions. As the world strives to achieve net zero carbon emissions, Ultrafan plays a key role in supporting the aviation industry in this commitment. Every flight with an Ultrafan engine contributes to a reduction in overall carbon emissions, bringing tangible benefits to the environment and climate. So when compared to the GE9X, does the Rolls-Royce's engine have the advantage? But before we get further, if you are new, please support us by clicking the subscribe button. And don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Now, let's continue. For comparison, the two giants in the aviation engine industry, Rolls-Royce Ultrafan and GE9X, although sharing the same goal of improving flight performance, pursue completely different design philosophies. The confrontation between these two machines is not only limited to technical specifications, but also reflects the development direction of the aviation industry in the future. One side prioritizes absolute power, the other focuses on sustainability and efficiency. The GE engine, with the reputation of being the world's largest jet engine, is the embodiment of unlimited power. Designed to power the Boeing 777X aircraft, this engine has created a huge thrust of more than 110,000 pounds at takeoff. The jet engine even made its mark in aviation history when setting a world record for thrust with an impressive figure of 134,000 pounds. 
The secret behind this engine's extraordinary power lies in the combination of advanced composite fan blades and ceramic matrix composite materials. These materials not only reduce weight significantly, but also allow the engine to operate efficiently at higher temperatures, thereby optimizing performance and maintaining high thrust. The GE9X is clearly the first choice for airlines that need an engine capable of handling heavy loads and operating continuously on long-haul flights. While the GE9X boasts raw power, Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan offers a different vision fuel efficiency and sustainability. While offering a more modest 100,000 pounds of thrust, the Ultrafan excels in optimization. The most important highlight of the Ultrafan is its innovative gearbox, which significantly increases fuel efficiency, reduces noise, provides a smoother flying experience for passengers, and reduces the impact on the environment around the airport. The use of carbon composite blades and advanced materials in the Ultrafan also contributes to reducing the overall weight of the engine, thereby improving flight performance and extending its operating life. Rolls-Royce has cleverly combined the most advanced technologies to create an engine that is not only powerful, but also greener, meeting the sustainable development trend of the global aviation industry. In a global push to reduce carbon emissions, coupled with increasingly stringent regulations and growing public concern about the environmental impact of aviation, Ultrafan appears to be a promising solution. What makes Ultrafan so unique is its ability to perfectly balance short-term performance with a long-term vision of a sustainable aviation future. Its flexible design not only optimizes current performance, but also opens the door to easy integration with future power systems, such as hybrid electric or hydrogen-powered engines. This means that Ultrafan is not only a solution for today, but also a solid foundation for future technological breakthroughs. In 2018, Airbus reported that Airbus and Rolls-Royce have signed a collaboration agreement for the integration of Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan demonstrator for flight testing. The integration solutions demonstration will be co-funded by Clean Sky 2, the European Union research program focused on developing technology to reduce emissions. Axel Flegg, Airbus head of research and technology, said this technology development program with Rolls-Royce is a key project for Airbus to pave the way towards the next generation integrated propulsion systems that will be needed by airline customers towards the end of the next decade. We thank the Clean Sky 2 European funding program for its strong support to this project, which is a key contributor towards the ACARE environmental targets. For Airbus, the project will enable it to fully integrate the overall power plant system composed of engine, pylon, and nacelle onto future long-range aircraft products, as well as facilitating scalability for future short-range aircraft. It will also build on Airbus's expertise in advanced manufacturing technologies, such as high deposition rate additive manufacturing, welded assembly, and high production rate thermoplastics. Rolls-Royce, the aviation industry's leading engine manufacturer, is setting bold ambitions to revolutionize how we travel through the skies. And in this return to the race, Rolls-Royce is bringing its most formidable weapon yet, the Ultrafan. This bold move is a direct challenge to the mighty GE9X engine from General Electric, one of Rolls-Royce's biggest rivals. But why is this engine truly capable of outpacing the GE9X? With the exaggerated claims about the Ultrafan, how can this engine reshape the way we experience air travel? First, let me tell you about the ground of the Ultrafan program. Over the past decade, Rolls-Royce hasn't just followed the pace of innovation, it's been setting it. At the heart of this transformation lies the groundbreaking Advance program, a bold initiative split into Advance 2 and Advance 3 each designed to redefine the future of jet propulsion. But it's Advance 3 that steals the show, an audacious reimagining of the legendary Trent engine architecture, re-engineered from the inside out. This isn't just a tweak, it's a full-blown revolution. With Advance 3, Rolls-Royce has introduced a new generation of core technology, leveraging state-of-the-art materials and production techniques to push boundaries once thought unbreakable. What is one of the important achievements of this evolution? 
It's the widespread use of additive layer manufacturing, more commonly known as 3D printing. We're talking about over 20,000 high-performance components, including some of the largest 3D printed parts ever to take flight, lighter, stronger, and more efficient than anything before them. And then, there's the use of ceramic matrix composites, space-age materials that are not only light, but also capable of withstanding temperatures that would melt traditional metal alloys. And the impact is that engines that run hotter burn cleaner and weigh less. Put it all together, and the numbers speak volumes. A remarkable 25% improvement in fuel efficiency over earlier Trent models. That means drastically reduce fuel burn, lower emissions, and a giant leap forward on aviation's path to net zero. Building on this foundation, Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan engine takes things even further, introducing revolutionary changes, particularly with its geared architecture. Unlike traditional engines, the Ultrafan integrates a gearbox that optimizes fan speed, significantly reducing noise and enhancing overall efficiency. Adding to its superiority, the specially designed gearbox has already set records in aviation, generating an astonishing 64 megawatts of power during testing. Speaking of the gearbox, it's one of the most transformative features, breathing new life into the engine's architecture. Much like a skilled conductor leading an orchestra, the gearbox links the shaft to the fan and optimizes rotational speeds. This is a key innovation the Ultrafan project leans on, similar to what Pratt & Whitney achieved earlier with its PW1000G geared turbofan. However, integrating a gearbox into an engine as large as the Ultrafan is no simple feat. It must endure immense forces and extreme temperatures, posing major challenges for engineers. The addition of the gearbox has also led to a structural redesign of the engine. Thanks to groundbreaking advancements, the number of turbine stages has been reduced from 10 to just 6, simplifying the design and significantly cutting weight. This is crucial, as turbines operate under intense pressure and heat. Making them lighter not only improves efficiency, but also opens new possibilities for engineering innovation. And what do you know about its size? Let's continue, but wait up. Thanks for sticking around until here. Please show your support by hitting like, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. One standout feature of this next generation engine is its fan, which marks a significant departure from traditional all-metal designs. Made from carbon composite materials with titanium leading edges, the Ultrafan's fan is not only visually striking, but also up to 340 kilograms lighter per engine compared to earlier models. Notably, the gearbox reduces rotational speed and load, allowing the fan to reach an astonishing diameter of 140 inches, making it the largest in the industry, exceeding the GE 9X by nearly 4%, making it the world's biggest turbofan. For comparison, the fan on Boeing's GE9X engine for the 777X measures 134 inches, while the Trent XWB, although sizable, appears modest at just 118 inches. When designing the Ultrafan, Rolls-Royce considered adding variable pitch fan blades to enhance flight flexibility and potentially eliminate the need for a thrust reverser. However, that idea appears to have been shelved due to technical risks, although a similar concept has been explored in the CFM Rise engine with its open rotor design. With Ultrafan, Rolls-Royce has not only redefined the capabilities of large engines, but also set a new benchmark for the entire aviation industry. By combining advanced technologies from leaders like Pratt and Whitney and General Electric, Ultrafan promises to reduce fuel consumption by up to 20% per flight compared to other engines, further establishing Rolls-Royce as a leader in performance, sustainability, and efficiency. What innovations in Ultrafan's design do you think will have the most significant impact on its success in the market? Please let us know. It's not just about the scale of the Ultrafan, its performance is just as impressive. Now, let's look at what this engine can offer. To begin with, its 140-inch fan diameter isn't just impressive, it's a statement of engineering ambition. Combine that with an extraordinary 70 to 1 overall pressure ratio in the compressor, and you have a feat of aerospace innovation. For context, the PW1000G was already considered groundbreaking with its 12 to 1 ratio. The leap from that to 70 to 1 is nothing short of revolutionary. Then there's fuel efficiency. 
the holy grail of modern aviation. We know that Rolls-Royce claims this program engine could slash fuel consumption by up to 25% compared to the earliest Trent engines. Even when compared with the most advanced variants of the Trent series, it still offers an impressive 10% improvement. In an era where sustainability and operating costs define competitiveness, those numbers aren't just good, they're game-changing. But how does it achieve that? It all begins with a bypass ratio greater than 15 to 1, an extraordinary figure in jet engine design. This means that for every unit of air passing through the engine core, 15 units bypass it entirely, propelled instead by the massive front fan. That kind of airflow balance significantly reduces fuel burn and noise, while boosting overall propulsion efficiency. But that's not all. Let's see how strong it is. In early prototype testing, it already clocked thrust levels between 31 to 36 tons, with the ultimate goal of reaching around 44 tons, surpassing the most powerful Trent XWB currently flying. That puts it in the same heavyweight league as General Electric's GE9X, which delivers up to 110,000 pounds of thrust, roughly 50 tons. The GE9X also boasts 10 to 15 percent better fuel burn compared to the GE90, making it a formidable rival. The numbers suggest Rolls-Royce isn't just chasing the future, it's trying to define it. With efficiency, power, and innovation all converging in one engine, could the Ultrafan become the new gold standard for wide-body aircraft propulsion? With an engine as massive and full of potential as the Ultrafan, which aircraft will be lucky and capable enough to carry it? Some speculate that only something as bold as a next-generation 747 or a revived A380 could accommodate such power and scale. Could that really happen? If Boeing and Airbus were to bring back their iconic jumbo jets, this engine could easily be the front runner to power them. Ultrafan isn't just a single engine, it's a scalable engine development program. What Rolls-Royce has revealed so far is essentially a high-tech demonstrator designed to showcase what the future could look like. Behind the scenes, researchers are testing various versions, exploring configurations and technologies that may one day shape the core of commercial aviation. What makes Ultrafan especially intriguing is its adaptability. Rolls-Royce has confirmed the engine architecture can be scaled to produce anywhere from 25,000 to 110,000 pounds of thrust. That's an incredibly broad range, enough to replace today's Trent engines at the high end, challenge the GE9X, and even reach into the narrow body market where Rolls-Royce has yet to gain serious traction. That said, applying a high bypass ratio, like 15 to 1, to a smaller, narrow body engine, say for an A320-sized aircraft, presents a whole new level of engineering challenge. Still, if any program has the ambition to tackle it, it's this one. But commercial deployment isn't just around the corner. Ultrafan-powered aircraft aren't expected to enter service until the late 2020s or early 2030s. That timeline lines up perfectly with what could be a new era in aviation, a possible successor to the A320, or even Boeing's long-rumored NMA, often dubbed the 797, which has seen cycles of development and delay for years. So will Ultrafan truly change the future of flight? Only time will tell. Until then, Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.